going on, guys? It is your boy Pete talking about Raul's Lot today. I just got back from watching season four Game of Thrones premiere. It was pretty awesome. If you guys don't know what that is, just check it out. One of the best shows I've ever seen. Anyways, let's focus on what we're doing today. If you haven't already, go check out Henry's Lot, another podcast I created. It relates a lot to this one, so go check that one out first. There will be an annotation on the screen right about now. All right, so let's get into it by showing a diagram of Raoult's Law. So here we have some blue molecules and some red molecules, and the blue molecules are solvent, and the red molecules are, are solute. So we're looking at a solution here. And on the surface, we see that there are seven blue solvent molecules and there are three red solute molecules. And right above the surface, we see four so blue solvent molecules in the vapor phase. And now what's going on here is that as opposed to if we had a diagram where all these molecules were blue, we see that the vapor pressure of this solution goes down. So since we have our solute, red solute molecules, we are taking up space on the surface of the solution and we're allowing for less molecules on the surface to transition and vaporize into the vapor phase. And in the same sense though, all the molecules that are vapor can still condense back onto the surface of the solution. So this imbalance between the vapor phase and the surface of the solution causes a decrease in vapor pressure. Ultimately, there are less molecules in the vapor phase. Raoul summarized what's going on here with an equation. He basically said that the pressure of a solution equals the mole fraction of the solvent times the pure component of the solvent. So what this means is x, again, is the mole fraction, and that's the number of moles of the solvent over the total moles of the whole entire solution. And the pure component of the solvent is looking at this diagram again, if all these molecules were blue, what would that pressure be? And so the reason why we have a mole fraction, again, we're just looking at a fraction of the number of blue molecules. We're, we're comparing the ratios of red molecules to blue molecules to figure out what the pressure of the entire solution is. So with Raoult's law, we have to understand that we are dealing with an ideal solution. An ideal solution is where the interaction between uh, neighboring molecules is the same. So the interaction between the two blue neighboring molecules is the same between the blue and the red. And we know that this does not exist in real life. But solutions closely approximate the behavior of ideal solutions, depending on what you're using. And the more related the solute and the solvent, the more closely they'll appropriate uh, Raoul's Law. That is all guys for Raoul's Law. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And if you didn't enjoy it, please like, favorite, and subscribe. And again guys, the more you know, the better you are.